Hello everybody, this is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another one. Everybody, this is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with a quick video. Man, I must be a tennis fanatic, a tennis freak. I'm out here in the dark trying to cut a video. Man, I gotta hurry and get home and go to sleep. But I was thinking about these people. I was I was pretty well done with all the videos until after the finals tomorrow. But yeah, I wasn't sure I was gonna do this, but I said, no, I'm gonna do this, man. Um I'm going to, this is the, the, the women's uh, final preview. It's going to be very quick. Okay, we got Kerber, uh, Angelique Kerber against, uh, let me get it right. See, I don't even know that much about this girl, but I, I, I have been watching her. Um, I went back and got the history quick. Uh, but I have, I do understand the style when I get the level and I know what's going on here. We got Kerber against Bianca, let me get it right, Andre Eskew. Boy, that's an interesting last name, Andre Eskew. I think I got it right. Now, I have watched the girl. This is for real, people. She's Canadian, of course. Y'all know what's up. Uh, people, she was number 152 just at the beginning of the year. In December, I think she's already down to, like, I think, I think like number one I think she's close to rank number 40 or something like that now but she's jumped down that far okay and if, if not number 40 or something she's number 60 or something like that close to number 40 but people listen I'm gonna take her okay she was in the final of a tournament that she lost against uh, Georgie or somebody like that and um she was in also, uh, she won a tournament too, and I think she's won more matches. Now, this is an interesting stat, people. She's won more matches than anybody since the beginning of the year. I think I got that right. Um, and so, I'm going to go. I'm a, now, people, usually when I do an upset alert, there's definitely an upset alert here with uh, uh, Bianca Andre Eskew against Kerber. Definitely an upset alert, um, but people, I'm going to go farther here. I'm not just going to put an upset alert. I'm going to take Andre Eskew to beat Kerber tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm just having some fun with this video. I think she can beat Kerber. I think she's good enough. I think she's ready. She's only 18, but she has a very mature game. Her game is as mature as anybody on the tour. I'm serious. I said anybody. All right? And she can beat Kerber. Now, somebody's probably saying, well, Magic Man, uh, you got to consider the moment, though. Everything you just said, Magic Man, is true. But she could feel the natural nerves. Uh, the Indian Wells final, Masters, um, well, it won't be a Masters series for the women. Premium. Premium tournament is um, it's the, it, 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 it's the biggest moment that... Uh, uh, Bianca has been in, so maybe she'll feel the nerves against Kerber tomorrow and may not be able to operate at the level she's been operating. Okay, that's fair enough. That could possibly happen. But I think she's somewhat past that test because she was behind against Spitalina and she worked it out. See, that she worked that match out, figured it out quickly and worked it out and beat Spitalina. So... That solves the nerves, I'm going to say 60, 60 to 70%. Now, there is that 30% where we'll find out what is she made of when she get into that big moment for the first time. This is not a major, but it's close. The Indian Wells, is uh, that's about as close to a major as you can get as far as the Master Series. So, the, let me cut the video. So... Not only am I putting the upset alert on this, because y'all know y'all know how I work. Like, I, I'm taking Federer to beat Team, but I put the upset alert on saying that Team could upset Federer. But I took Federer, though. I, with Kachanov versus Nadal, I took Nadal, but I put the upset alert on that uh, Kuch, uh, Kachanov could possibly beat Nadal. With this here, people, it's different. Not only am I putting the upset alert, upset alert on, I am taking Bianca... 
I'm going to put the tennis prophet. I'm going to put some faith in my in this girl here. I'm going to say my girl. I'm almost to take her to be one of my favorite players. That's interesting. I like that game. I like her maturity. Uh, man, she's already... She's only 18 years old, but her game is all around. She has an expansive repertoire. It's a very mature game. It's a very well-seasoned game. Not just for an 18-year-old, just for a player, period, okay? And, uh, and she's mentally seasoned. So I'm taking Bianca Andre Eskew to beat Kerber tomorrow, okay, people? And if I get this wrong... You know what, unless she gets beat 6 0 oh, 6 oh, this girl is so good that even if she loses, you're going to be like, okay, no big deal. That girl is really that good. We know why the tennis prophet chose her. Okay. All right, people, tennis preacher, prophet, psychic, signing off. Have a good one. This is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video.